Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Classroom Champions Live. If this is, if this is your first time tuning in to Classroom Champions Live, this is where we bring our amazing athlete mentors directly to you, whether in your classroom or at home. My name is Emily Cook. I'm a three-time Olympian in the sport of freestyle skiing, and I'm very happy to introduce today's show. So as we go through today's show, please let us know you're watching, and feel free to ask our athletes questions by posting questions in the comment box and saying good morning to us. But today we have a very special Shaw Communications edition of our show with some of our incredible Surrey School mentors. And we have a special host for today too. So I'm very excited to introduce Olympic gold medalist in bobsled and our fearless classroom champions leader, Steve Messler. Hi, Steve. Hey, Em, how's it going? Great, how are you? Excellent, I'm, I'm stoked we've got my, I'm in, ba I'm in the basement right now at my house, everybody. And we've got Surrey going on in the background there. And then some of the rest of the stuff for our little girls, three years old. So uh, we're ready to go. Are you guys ready at home and at school? I All think right. they are. We have a bunch of people tuning in already. So good morning, Lori. Good morning, McKenna and Dylan and Charlotte. Good morning, Tiff. Tiff's watching as well. So thanks so much for being here, you guys. So Steve, we have some awesome athletes coming up, don't we? We do. We've got a whole bunch of our Surrey mentors uh, who are going to hang out with us for the next like 20 or 30 minutes. So are we, are we ready to get started? And em yeah. Emily's in charge, so we're just here to... <laughs> Well, I would love to introduce a whole bunch of our athletes today. So let's see who we have. Can we bring all our athletes up on the screen? You guys, we have some incredible athletes. We have Emily Nishikawa. We have Scott Tepper, Jen Lalonde, and Gilmore Junio. So some of your awesome Sur Surrey School mentors. And we want to show you guys what they do. So let's pull up some video and maybe you guys can kind of talk us through your sports. What do you think? Does that sound good? Awesome. Thanks for being here, you guys. All right. So first up, we have M. Hey, guys. Well, this is a video of me from Switzerland this winter while I was training um, to get ready for the World Cup there. Um, so that's, yeah, going pretty hard up that hill and just getting in the last workout before my, my big World Cup. And then this was another video of me, that same workout, and my ski technician Simon was following me there. He was trying hard to keep up with me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So you guys, Emily Nishikawa is a two-time Olympian in the sport of cross-country skiing, and we are so excited to have you today, Emily. We have a couple more people tuning in at home. So Ollie and Izzy. Good morning, Ollie and Izzy. Uh, Lori, Miss No CR says hi, Scott. I think she's uh, one of your teachers, right? Uh, Scott, yeah. Scott's, right. Got a Bear, Scott's Bear Creek crew. Is nice. there. Yeah, Bear Creek crew, always there. And I think Scott, oh, I think your video's up next, right, Scott? So let's get uh, Scott. Give us oh, a there. I am. Know what's going on here? Yeah. So that I think that pick was from a couple or maybe three years ago now in uh, in London, England. And then yeah, that one there is at Pan Am Games uh, in Lima, Peru, last summer. And that's also from Pan Ams. Yeah. So I was lucky enough to to carry the Canadian flag at the opening ceremony, which was uh, super cool. A really. Uh, a humbling experience, but it, it was awesome, and uh, had all my my teammates were sort of just behind there in the the big group of everyone, so that was a lot of fun. And that's kind of what trainings looked like over the last few months. So it's uh, not been much time on field recently, but trying to get a little bit creative. It's a lot of sort of outdoor workouts and and stuff in the yard, uh, trying to stay ready as much as possible um, for when we do get back on the field, which is going to be Hopefully soon. Certainly, uh, I'm missing being on the field uh, with my teammates, but been trying to make the best of it. And uh, it does seem like there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel because uh, we've all been doing well uh, with our quarantine and all that here in BC. Awesome. And I saw Caleb just said hi, Scott. Hey, Caleb. <laughs> uh, awesome. Caleb, you know, from Bear Creek. And and we've got Gil. So actually, I think what would be cool is let's go ahead and do this right now too. Let's get our let's get our banner going across the bottom. So one thing, there's a couple of things we're going to throw in here. When you see your school at the bottom here, I want everybody in class or at home to jump up. Let's get either five jumping jacks in, or if you can't jump up, let's get five arm circles in. So we're going to throw that up there every now and then. So you got to be ready and paying attention. But when you see your school name up there, 
want you to get up and let's get active this morning. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna go in and and also when your mentor comes on screen, I really like either let, we're in Calgary, I'm in Calgary right now. Let us hear you in Calgary when your mentor is up. Next up is Gil Morginio. Gil, welcome. And uh, let's pop into Gil and Gil, let, sit, let, let you say hi to everybody and, and tell us what we're seeing. Yeah, hey everyone. Um, so yeah, my name is Gilmore, I'm a long track speed skater and this is kind of what we do on a daily basis. Definitely not right now um, with you know everything going on, we're kind of missing the ice and we're in a bit of our summer months right now. So we're just doing a lot of weight training, but um, yeah, this is kind of what uh, I'm lucky enough to do every day. I get to put on my skates and our skates are a bit different than hockey skates. They're a bit longer. Um, they kind of come apart at a hinge and we call them clap skates because they make a noise. But um, yeah, it's a pretty simple sport. We skate as fast as we can um, for a certain amount of distance. My specialty is a 500 meter. And yeah, we get to skate in these little trains so that we, um, you know, we're efficient. And this is kind of what we've been doing for the past couple of months, sort of the dry land and imitating uh, the motion on ice. So this is us practicing our corners. Um, yeah, uh, if you can find a little bungee cable, you can do this at home, but um, it will hurt your legs, which is uh, every day is leg day for us. <laughs> That's awesome. That is some power right there. And then last and certainly not least, we have our other athlete. I mean, Scott is, Scott, where exactly are you? I'm in Vancouver. Right, in Vancouver. And Jen, where are you training? I'm in Victoria right now, so and not far. <laughs> Gil, Gil, where are you right now? I'm in Calgary. M? In Canmore. In Canmore. So we got all of our Western Canadians, but we've got right in Victoria, Jen Lalon. So everybody remember, if Jen is your athlete, I want to hear you here in Calgary. Yeah, I've got my windows open. <laughs> there you go. And she's in Victoria, so she can hear you right across the way. Jen, let's let's check out what we got going on here in the video for all those for all the students who don't know you. Yeah, so this is kind of what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of running. So I'm a steeplechaser. Uh, so I run around the track and jump over big wooden barriers um, and then splash into a little bit of water. Um, so I've been lucky enough, I've been able to run outside during this whole pandemic. So that's been pretty incredible. I haven't been able to do many barriers. So we've been creating barriers from our couch to any kind of obstacle that we can find around um, and uh, jumping over logs when I go out into the forest and stuff just to get that practice even doing fake hurdles outside and uh, um, people give you a little bit of a funny look because they're not quite sure what you're doing, but that's okay. Um, as long as you're having fun. And, and, uh, and yeah, I just, I have actually that, that girl who was in that picture was oh, really? so I've got to run with her as well. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been, Actually, not too bad. I'm lucky I have a fiance, John, who who been able to run with me while he's doing his uh, indoor swimming and getting ready for the triathlon. So, um, yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, guys, that I mean, Jen, as a tra as a former track athlete, and everybody at home, by the way, I'm a I was a bobsledder, so uh, I I won my Olympic gold medal right up the hill up there in Whistler. So, Vancouver and Surrey, uh, Green Timbers. I've been to a lot of the schools there. Um, and I, you know, I miss you guys. I really miss not being able to see you guys this year uh, through everything that <clears throat> everything that you've you've gone through. We are here for you and know that um, we know we know that it's been an interesting last few months for you. But we want this is your time right now. And so start putting in some of your questions into the chat box. If you're on, um, if you're on, start throwing in questions. Um, otherwise, we will. I've got some questions for the for the athletes, for your mentors, too. But. I mean, really, we want to open it up. And as I'm waiting on, we'll wait on some of the questions that come through here on the on the main feed. And I'll take over from over from for M right now. Um, and let's see, do you have questions? Yep, do classroom champions is asking if you have questions for your athletes. Uh, but first, let's start off. I mean, Scott, what was your favorite moment from this past from this past year that had to do with classroom champions? Uh, my favorite moment was with you, Steve. We when we uh, got out to Surrey. Uh, I can't remember what month it was. It was in in the fall, I think. But um, we were able to to visit. Uh, I believe it was Bear Creek and in, in Green Timbers, and and got to see a lot of our kids and and hang out and and get to know everyone a little bit better. So yeah. for me, that was uh, that was really fun. It's really cool to sort of touch base with everyone uh, and get to spend some time with you as well. Yeah, it was that was great. And Dylan, you've got uh, his dad watched hey, you. 
his dad watch you in person when you're gold medal and you wish he could have been there. Uh, it's super cool. Um, so Gil, like you've got to, you've gotten to be able to travel a lot um, before everyone was home. Like what was your favorite spot uh, on the world cup tour this year? Oh, I mean, we get to go to a lot of cool places, uh, interesting places for sure. When we go on tour, um, definitely my favorite place, my favorite place to skate is definitely in the Netherlands. Um, they love speed skating there and, um, you know, it's one of their sports. And so when you get their, their rink there, it's called the Tealf and you pack it with, you know, 10,000, 12,000, uh, speed skating fans and they're all cheering for everyone. So that's a definitely favorite place to go, but, um, it's hard to also beat, uh, when you get to go to Japan. Yeah, such good food there. Um, you know, just get to go out for sushi and ramen every day, and that's pretty hard to beat. Yeah, uh, and it's a great, great place to skate. <laughs> awesome, awesome. We're also I, there to compete. Fair. Yeah, I mean, I, I when I was a bobsledder, that was the same thing. I loved all the little European towns that we got to go to, and like the food and the ho you stay in the same hotel every year. Everybody at home there, and um, there are all the hundreds of kids we've got. You know, sitting at home in Surrey right now. We are like super stoked to be able to be hanging out with you right now. And, and I think telling some of those stories is, is one of our favorite things to do as athletes and share those, share those experiences with you. I do think that it's time to get the scroll bar going and get us up and moving at home too. So there we go. All right. If you say Bay Ridge, we've got Bay Ridge there, Bonacord, Cedar Hills, David Franklin, Forsyth Road, Green Timbers, Harold Bishop, the Jorth Road, which I probably said wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, Holly, KB Woodward, awesome, get after it. All right, guys, let's get into, uh, I've got a question for Jen, another question for Jen. So like you, I know you moved this year, what's your favorite thing about being out West with the rest of us and all your kids in the group? <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I can't say I ever expected to move out West and um, it's been incredible. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't like the rain, but I've loved the rain because um, it actually means that uh, I, I do get to run outside. Um, you know, I love snow, but for training, it's not necessarily um, super convenient. And uh, and then also just the smell of the ocean. Um, I grew up on the East Coast, so um, I got the smell of the ocean growing up and then living in Ontario, um, missed it a lot. But now with like, you know, I just feel like I'm always breathing in fresh air. So going outside and just like, um, yeah, being surrounded by trees and nature and the mountains. Oh, there's just so wow. many good things, Steve. It's great out here, isn't it? It's great. Well, Miss Nosier asked, what is you what is and maybe this is for Scott and for Jen, like what is your favorite lower mainland takeout restaurant during quarantine? Ooh. Uh I don't know. I, I feel like I don't discriminate. I like everything. <laughs> <laughs> I I got some Thai food the other night uh from a place nearby here and that was that was pretty nice i think it's called thai basil but uh um no i'll, I'll eat anything really awesome <laughs> yeah and we've been having a lot of pizza so any kind of pizza takeout has been uh, the go-to around our house <laughs> just what all the parents just what all the parents at home wanted to hear that is pizza. <laughs> um, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> i mean ours is ours is as well so uh emily you are retiring from sport this year. So everybody at home and at school, let's give Emily a big round of applause. Emily, you've had an amazing career. Like, as you look back, like, what what's your favorite part? What's your favorite, one of your favorite memories that, about your career? Yeah, it's been a really great time to be, uh, reflect on my career. And I actually just got um, home from a two-day camping trip with one of my former teammates. And we, we talked about all these memories we had growing up as, as teenagers and and young adults and going through the process of learning how to ski and then we we talked about that that time when we made the olympics together in 2014 which was just that was the biggest highlight for us it was a very stressful week of olympic trials but to get through that and to to get to the olympics and put the canadian flag on our backs um yeah i'd say that was that was the highlight for me and but i mean there's so many other funny moments that we talked about like, Oh, remember the time when we we pranked the boys' house or, and the, all those kind of funny things at training camps that are just as big a part of my reflection on the, my time as an athlete. Um, yeah, those kind of memories will stay with me forever. And um, yeah, it's been a it's been a great time to reflect back on all of that. And I have so many so many grateful um, memories and times 
throughout my ski career that I'm just I'm very happy I got those those opportunities and, and proud of a lot of accomplishments I did throughout my career. Awesome. Awesome. So everybody at home and at school, we're going to play a really cool game called Scategories, and we're going to play sports categories. So I want you to get, as we're getting here, get some kind of piece of paper ready, uh, something to write on, and <clears throat> we're going to play that in one second. But right before that, we're going to play a little lightning round of favorite food questions for, for your athlete mentors. So, all right, let's go. Favorite food, ready, M. Bibimbap. Scott. Pizza. Jen. Chocolate. Dill. Pizza. Uh, do you have a pet? And if you do, what's their name? M. A dog named Ace. Scott. Dog, Maxine. Jen. No pet, but does John count? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Dill. Uh, no pet, just myself. I got to take care right. of myself. You bear, and yeah, and I, I, I know it's hard, to, it's hard to take care of you. I get that. Um, <laughs> let's go with one more lightning round question as I know everybody at home in school is getting a piece of paper ready to write down their categories responses and I'll explain what categories is here in a second. Uh, let's go with either favorite book as a kid or favorite book now. So favorite book as a kid or favorite book now, whichever one that you wanna go. We're gonna change up the order, Gil. Oh gosh, uh, Way of the Peaceful Warrior. Scott. My favorite book, all time. Awesome. Uh, the Hockey Sweater from childhood. Awesome. Emily. Harry Potter. And Jen. I'll go with the book that I'm reading now, Talking to Strangers. Oh, I was listening to that. I was listening to that in the car on my way back from camping this weekend, actually. Awesome. Yeah, great. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna play everybody at home and, and to our athletes, uh, is we're going to play a game called Scategories, and we're going to do it with sports. So what Scategories is, is we're going to announce a letter, and usually when you play the game, there's a little, like a die, piece, big piece of dice, big die that you roll, and it has different letters on it. And when that letter comes up, you have to fill in whatever the, the word is. So if we were to use something like uh, colors that start with, and then we would, colors, and then we would say, you have to write down a, a color that starts with the letter P. And then you'd write down things like pink and purple. And I, anybody else have any other <laughs> colors that start with P? Plum. Anybody at home? And if, yeah, what's that? Plum. It's Palm. Different Palm. Kinds of purple. Palm. There you go. Nailed it, Gil. Point, point Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do, everybody at home, and again, if you've got more questions for, for your athletes, go ahead and pop them into the chat below. Uh, but I know that a lot of you guys are watching on YouTube, especially at school, so it's you, you can't do it and, and being on Facebook is tough. So, um, oh, so Ms. Nocier has a question. Misha would like to know what short-term and long-term training, training goals the athletes have. That's a great one. Let's, um, anybody wanna jump in on that one? Short-term and long-term training goals. Sure, I'll go. Uh... Yeah, short term, it's just trying to improve on some strength and fitness stuff while we're off the field because our, our group hasn't been training together for a while. Yeah. Um, so trying to make some little improvements on, on sort of cardiovascular uh, fitness. Um, and then longer term is to make sure I hopefully will continue to, to play well and, and uh, put myself in a good position next year to get selected for our Olympic team. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, because remember, everybody, that the Olympics, the Tokyo Olympics just got moved from 2020 to 2021. So when we think about all of the things that you've been struggling with, uh, having school change and then having to be back in school in different kinds of circumstances, like your athletes are also going through different struggles themselves because they've had, you know, for Scott and Jen uh, on, the, on the summer side, they had their Olympic dreams pushed back an entire year. They have to wait now to the Tokyo Olympics that are going to now be in the summer of 2021. So, uh, you know, we're all we're all struggling with that. Maybe at the end of categories here, you guys can have some words of advice of how you've been dealing with and thinking through how you're kind of accepting the challenges that are in front of you now. So, but let's have a little bit of fun uh, as well, and let's get into our sports category. So, what we're going to do for everybody at home in school is we're going to use the letter of each of your athletes. Uh, and we'll be a little bit creative because we have two G's um, and we'll call out the sport 
a call out their letter and then you have to write down a sport that starts at the beginning of that letter. You guys, all of our athletes, you guys get what I'm talking about? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So first one, and we're going to have like 10 or 15 seconds, everybody at home. And I want you to write it down and put it in the chat bar if you have it. And our athletes are going to write some stuff down too. So the first one we do, the letter G. The G for Gilmore. The letter G, a sport that begins with G. All right, everybody. We have it. You guys good? All right, let's see it. Let's throw it out there. What do you guys have? Golf. Oh, I got... What do you got, Gil? I only got golf, but I'm just writing in my notes. <laughs> ben, what do you have? Oh, I also had gold ball. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have go karting. Find... What do you have, Em? Go karting. Go oh. Go karting. Oh, nice. Yeah, That's I should have thought of that one. All right, yeah, everybody. I actually uh, went to blind camp as a kid, uh, Steve. My mom uh, teaches blind and visually impaired kids, so um, I got to go to blind kid camp and play goalball. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, if you guys at home, Google goalball. It's a really cool Paralympic sport. All right, so let's jump into our next letter. All right, everybody, let's go with the letter E. And we've got gymnastics up here too. So gymnastics, somebody put up gymnastics oh. too. Yeah, that was such an obvious one. <laughs> That's pretty popular. Good job. <laughs> golf and gymnastics. And Ren Renee said gymnastics. And Sherry said golf. Uh, and Izzy says gymnastics. All right, we're gonna. And Charlotte said golf. Let's go with the letter E. Ready, set, go. Oh, this is not going well for me right now. <laughs> Corey said golf as well on the D there. Good job, Corey. Uh, all right, letter E. Write mine down. Okay. All right. Did you get one? I had to stretch a little bit on mine. I had to go with esports. Steve, what's up with this? I got esports too. <laughs> right here, Jen. We're right here. Uh, uh, what, do no. what do you have, Emily? Equestrian. Oh, good one. Nice. Uh, uh, Scott also equestrian. got a question. Awesome. Gil, what'd you get? I, I came up with donuts right there. Like, I, I didn't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gil and esports. All right. I like it. Okay. All right. Next one, everybody. Sports, we're ready here. Let's go with let's let's go with Jen's last name, Lalan. So we're going to go with the letter L. Letter L, a sport that starts with the letter L. All right, we'll give another few seconds. Sherry, I'm the last one, E, equest equestrian. Very good. All right, what do we have for the letter L? I have lacrosse. I don't know if mine counts. I went for luge. Gil Gil Gilmore can be the judge. What do you have? Oh, oh hey, that's, that's not bad. Yeah. How do you think of that? I had long track and then had luge. And Gil, what'd you have? I had lawn bowling. Lawn bowling. Oh, oh wow. Nice. So, Emily, I guess you and I cancel each other out with our lacrosse. Yeah. Which, oh, long distance, out. long jump. Oh, there's so many good ones. Oh. And a big shout out to all of our circle classroom champions, circle classrooms. Our indigenous based programming this year, Bridget Laquette was so sorry she wasn't able to make it on, but she said she wanted us to make sure that we said hi to everybody. So we've got, let's go with one more. We've got one more letter. Uh, let's go with, well, obviously S for Scott. So, and as we're doing this, I'd like to see the scroll bar go back up and I'd like to get some, some five jumping jacks in or five arm circles in when you see your, when you see your name down there. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I'll get my fun jumping jacks in just so I can get some movement going. So we've got L. We've got, or sorry, what did I say? S. We've got S. Uh, I've got a. Okay. All right. What do we have for what do we have for our S, you guys? What do we have for our S? We've got Charlotte's got skating. Uh, we've got oh, soccer. I've got short track. I'm missing, I'm missing all my sports. You are. What do you, I can't, we can't see yours. I, I, just, I, just put, I just put shooting. 
shooting, shooting the Olympics, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's good though. You want to be creative and be the unique one. Exactly. <laughs> And we've got uh, Miss Nosier. We've got Corey. We got. I want to give some shout outs to. We've got so many great answers in here. We've got Swash from Cursed. Uh, we've got Chris. Said we've got uh, Corey had soccer. Miss Nosier's class. We've got soccer, softball, swimming, silent ball, skating, skiing, snowboarding, sledding, snowshoeing, skeleton squash, shot put, ski jumping, and skateboarding. I mean, I had to do that, you guys. <laughs> All right. Looks like you're getting ready for your next career. <laughs> we all sit in front of computers all day long so every time we get a chance to move around we should be moving around sure. um so we we are probably ready to to start to uh to policy oh, there you go jen's getting her she saw one of her schools <laughs> yep all right we can stop we can stop torturing all of our teachers out there and we can probably shut down the scroll bar down there uh, <laughs> Or everybody moving around and going. I really hope that somebody took some video of that in school uh, to see everybody jumping up and, and getting after it there. Um, well, you guys, you know, at, at Classroom Champions, everybody, all of our Surrey students, you guys had such a great year. And we are so sorry that your year didn't get to end in the way that I know so many of us would have wanted to end. But I'm so happy that Many of you got to go, were able to go back to school. And the fact that a lot of you, you know, didn't go back to school and chose to stay home, at least you're able to have these kinds of moments with, with your athletes. So as we close off, um, you know, the, it's, it's also, oh, one, sorry, one more thing, Brittany Hudak. So Brittany Hudak is another one who really, really wanted to be here uh, and wasn't able to. She visited uh, Surrey last year uh, and she has a really great connection with all of you guys there. And, you know, I would love to hear from our athletes and your athletes to hear, you know, what words of advice they have for you of how they've been coping with these challenges and these struggles and how, you know, appreciative they are of the year that you had. So, um, you know, and, and anything else, you guys, let's let's go and whoever wants to hop in here. Oh, we, we do have a question from Dylan. Um, oh, your favorite series of books too. So if you have a favorite series of books in your goodbyes, um, go for it. Whoever I'll start off. So I think a uh, series of unfortunate events is always a good one um, to start off if you're, if you're looking for a book. Uh, and in terms of, you know, champs, you guys um, have all the tools necessary for you to get through this pandemic. Uh, you know, we talked about community, we talked about leadership, we talked about um, the diversity around you. I think uh, it's time to, to take those tools into account and, and really use them um, to help uh, yourselves and your families and your friends get through this. And uh, ultimately at the end of the road, uh, you know, we've got school to look forward to next year and uh, the summer. So I hope uh, yeah, just enjoy. <laughs> we lost we lost you a little bit there at the end there, Jen. Oh, cool. Well, my main message was just enjoy. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Gil. Yeah. Um favorite series. I actually didn't read a lot of a uh, series of books, but I remember reading the screech owl growing up as uh, a hockey mystery. So I love that. Um but yeah, this was an awesome year, um, Surrey Schools. Uh, thank you so much. This is my first year as a classroom champion and definitely one that I'll remember forever. Um, you know, I think, you know, like Emily said, or just like Jen said, you know, we covered a lot of uh, topics, but, um, you know, ones to always keep in mind are goal setting, resilience, um, you know, those things through times like these for sure. Um, you know, when, when you kind of are in a bit of a cloud and don't know what to do, always just keep in mind your goals and, and um, you know, stay gritty and, um, you know, just keep at it and uh, like there's always next year. Um, we're gonna get back to school, things are gonna get back to normal and um, you know, we're gonna get back to uh, crushing it in the classrooms and for us athletes back on our fields of play. So thanks so much for the year and um, look forward to seeing you all again. Uh, stay gritty, I like it. Uh, Scott. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think Gilmore and, and Jen said it really well. The only thing I might add is um, you guys do have all the tools and and show that perseverance that you worked on uh, throughout the school year. I think um, you guys can take on this sort of COVID challenge and, and come out uh, better for it on the other side. Um, 
get through it. It's it, it it's going to come back to normal soon, and and you guys will be a little bit tougher and and really ready to take on the world. And then for the books, I haven't read any like series of books recently, but going back to when I was a, a kid, there was a I, I don't know if the series has a title, but Matt Christopher had a whole bunch of like sport oriented books that I always read. So that was uh, probably my favorite series when I was growing up. Super cool. Uh, and we are saving uh, saving our retiree from sport for <laughs> last. Give us our final send off. Uh, Emily, thank you. You've been a mentor for years and years now um, and you've shown your kids the world and you've and you've shared with them so many experiences you've had through sport. Uh, and you know again, I know that this year for all of us didn't wrap up the way that we wanted it to to be able to come to Surrey and and spend time with everybody there. Uh, but Em would love to hear uh, your your final words for your kids. Yeah, I just I want to say that I'm so proud of everyone for all the work you've done this year, and given the circumstances, um, yeah, I, I'm just very proud of everything and all the lessons we've learned together and the, the community projects um, that you showed me back in December. Those always make me so happy to see the the good work you can do within your community and like scott said this is just a really good challenge of perseverance this is a huge obstacle that we are all working to overcome find the positives in it because if we can find a positive in this big obstacle we'll come out better and and yeah you guys have the skills now to to get through this and to find a way around this big obstacle and and remember that we're all part of a community and we can help each other out along the way because it's going to be tough for everybody here and there but if we work together and we support each other uh, we'll get through this no problem so yeah. keep up the good work and, and I'm very proud of you uh, for everything we've done this year. That's awesome well this has been a really awesome and special Classroom Champions Live Surrey Schools Shaw Communications edition we are grateful uh, for you guys for spending time with us and um, you know, to all of our kids and our teachers and students at home uh, and at school, <clears throat> let's finish off the year strong. We're down to our last week. Uh, let's get after it. Stay grit. Stay gritty. Uh, what was your wait a minute, What was your quote, Gil? Yeah, stay gritty. Right. That was it. Stay gritty. Stay gritty. Yeah. I love it. All right, everybody. <laughs> have a great rest of the day and have a great weekend coming. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. See everyone. Bye. Bye.